What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we are looking at a brand or unboxing a brand that I have not had on the channel for a little while. This is a Zelos. This is the new Swordfish 40, as I, I think that's what they're calling it, as it is the 40 millimeter version of the Swordfish. So uh, Elshan, the owner of the brand Zelos, he definitely uh, improves his watches very often. So he listens to a lot of feedback that he gets from reviewers, from uh, his Facebook group, which contains a lot of loyal uh, uh, Zelos fans, and they give a lot of feedback on the watches. So he definitely is listening and um, upgrading the watches and tweaking the watches according to these feedbacks that he's getting. Uh, and the watch comes in the typical Zelos packaging. I actually took off the outer box. It comes on an outer box that is actually very tightly put onto the box, so it's very hard to get off. I always have a problem with that. Uh, the inner roll has changed to what looks like a gray sort of faux leather or PU leather uh, watch roll, and uh, it has a, a, a faux suede interior. Uh, it is four uh, pouches now rather than three. I believe the previous models were three. This watch only comes with the watch and the metal warranty card that uh, Zelos do all the time. Uh, this is the only way that it comes now, I guess, uh, for, for this watch because these actually came in pretty inexpensive right off the bat. Uh, this watch was $269. This is the sand, uh, black sand dial. They made a few different versions of of the 40 millimeter, so this was the black sand. They came in with a, a, I believe it was called a desert sand, a meteorite dial, a blue dial, and a green dial. All of them were around $269. I think the uh, meteorite was $369, which is really affordable for uh, a meteorite dial watch. But uh, I followed my own rule here, and I just got the black sand because I always think that the black sand, when you when you're considering Zelos really looks the best because of uh, a few different reasons. Number one, they put gilt hands on uh, on the dial here, and then you also get that aged loom on that sandwich, or depending on, on the uh, model, you, you get applied indices. This has a sandwich dial, so uh, there is aged loom. All the loom on the dial is, I believe, uh, C3X1, and then there's BGW9 actually in the bezel, and the bezel is ceramic. So as I mentioned, this is the 40 millimeter version of the Swordfish. I really like the Swordfish. Uh, I think that my two favorite Zeloses would have to be the Swordfish and the Mako. The Mako 3, version 3, was actually uh, a very nice watch. I think it just had a couple of issues with the case back. And that is something they have, uh, again, Zelos have listened. And this has a stamped case back. It's very nicely stamped. There's actually polishing, brushing, and bead blasting on the on the case back now. Uh, there are no sharp elements to it, so that's something that I've actually complained about for almost every Zelos I've gotten, except for the Hammerhead, I believe. Uh, that that case back was also stamped, and it was uh, it was really nice. Uh, but this looks good and feels good. Uh, the the crown is still a little bit sharp, tiny tiny bit sharp, but. Uh, really not that bad. Very grippy, obviously, and um, and thinner. So 40 millimeters, you have 46 millimeter lug to lug. This will wear a little bit larger than that 46 millimeter lug width because the bracelet doesn't stay flush with those lugs, as you can see. However, uh, I'll throw it on my wrist and you'll see it, it actually wears really well. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and this fits absolutely perfect, I would say. Um, as I mentioned, 40 millimeters wide, and then you have a 12 millimeter width on the watch. I think it might be just a little bit thicker than that, at least that's what I measured with the sapphire crystal. Uh, Scruting crown engraved also says Zelos on there, and you have a swordfish on the back, as I mentioned. They have upgraded the bracelet uh, a lot, I would say. The bracelet is nice and thin, I like that. The screws aren't incredibly small for the size of this bracelet, so that's very nice as well. And then the clasp, they've uh, upgraded the clasp. A lot of brands make the same clasp. Uh, it's just, it's just you know, a good design and they all look pretty much similar. So what Zelos has done here, they've, they've done a little bit something that gives it an element of, of something different from other brands. So 
Uh, there's some brushing here or bead blasting and then the Zelos uh, logo right here. And it feels nice. It, and it's uh, and actually a very well-made uh, buckle on here. It, it has, it has uh, some chamfering edges there. And the bracelet has actually some polished edges on it now. Uh, it's primarily brushed and then you have some polished edges on the sides, which look really good um, and feel very nice. And it also is a quick release. So what I'm gonna do is I'll actually do a quick strap change. This does not come with the strap, as I mentioned. Uh, again, that's because this is $269. You do get the NH35, the normal NH35 that you're getting uh, with a lot of Zelos's. Very good movement, reliable Seiko movement. Uh, this gets a color match date wheel, which is very nice. Uh, and 200 meters water resistance. I believe the Swordfish was 300 meters water resistance previously. I had mentioned, and I think others have mentioned, the 300 meters is really overkill for every single watch that Zillow's offered. They were offering some sort of incredible depth rating. I don't think you need to do that for every watch. They have the Abyss. They have other watches that are uh, really, really good, uh, have really good depth ratings. 200 meters water resistance is great. They could even do a watch with 100 meters water resistance and let's get it really thin, I think. Um, but again, this is really nice. 200 meters is excellent. Um, and you have a lot of loom on the dial, a lot of loom on that bezel. Zelos are really great with that. Um, so quickly, it, it's very easy to take off the bracelet. I'll switch the bracelets. Uh, I'll put on a strap on here so you guys, you guys can see what it looks like on a strap. And then we will do a quick loom shot. So here it is on a strap. I put it on Vario straps, Twill straps. These come in at, this one actually comes in at $12. This is their titanium color. Uh, it's a mixture of sort of like a, a gray titanium and a beige titanium. It goes really well with the indices and the bezel on this watch because of that aged loom. It looks really sharp uh, and, and matches really, really well. Watch does not come with an extra strap. Usually, uh, Zelos include an extra rubber strap. They did not in this package. I paid $269 for this watch, and I think that's the reason why uh, they're not including anything extra because it is a pretty affordable watch for what you're getting. You're getting a lot for that $269. So really quickly, I will throw this on my wrist. Then I'll throw it on the bracelet again so you can see it on my wrist with the bracelet. And then I will uh, do a loom shot. Really quickly before I do, I will do a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing Benaris. This is a really cool military uh, watch that is actually has some real history to it. It's a micro brand that, that has been started up again, I believe. Uh, and this just was lent in for, uh, for review by the brand. So I am super excited about uh, wearing it and showing it to you guys. And the uh, unboxing, well, un uh, unboxing is not gonna happen because they didn't give me boxes for this, but a review will be coming very soon. So, here is the swordfish on my seven and a half inch wrist. So they went smaller on these watches and a lot of people are either happy about that or very unhappy about that. I, I would imagine it's mixed, especially with the Zelos community because a lot of the collectors really love their larger offerings. Uh, I kind of think this is a really perfect size if, you, if you're asking me uh, for this, uh, for the swordfish case shape and I think the 42 millimeter was nice but it wore a little bit bigger than those 42 millimeter dimensions. This wears really nice and it's thinner uh, and it doesn't need all of that water resistance. So 200 meters, really good. So really quickly, you can see on my seven and a half inch wrist, it looks great. I'm gonna throw it back on the metal band and we can see what that looks like and then we'll do a loom shot. And there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. I have it pretty much sized up for my wrist and you could see that it actually wears pretty good um, and it fits really well. And the lugs are very tight on my wrist and very nice uh, because of the, of the curvature of the lugs themselves. It actually wears very nicely and it fits like a 40 millimeter watch, maybe a, a smidge bigger than that. Um, and the 12 millimeter width is very nice as well. It's not incredibly thin, but it isn't thick at all. Um, I will note two things uh, that the watch itself does not come with any extra spring bars it only comes with what is in the bracelet and those are the quick release spring bars so if you do want to put this on a strap you need to 
put two spring bars in here. Not a big deal for me because I have spring bars lying around, but if this is a watch that you're purchasing, you may want to get the uh, extra spring bars before you do. And something else just to note that I am on the last uh, setting for the micro adjust and I could slip a finger underneath However, if you have a giant wrist and you don't want to use all the micro adjust uh, all the way out or all the way in, I have it all the way in. So I, I mean, I, I would imagine if you have an eight and a half inch wrist uh, and below, this will fit you. Otherwise, you might need an extra link if you have a very, very large wrist. But that's really the exception to the rule. I don't think most people will need that. Uh, other than that, the bracelet is actually very nice. Uh, the clasp is very nice um, and it looks really good. Uh, so really quickly, I'm just gonna do bezel action because I haven't done that and then we'll do a loom shot. Very good bezel action on here. One thing that they've changed from the previous swordfish is that little red square at the top there, or triangle, excuse me. And I think that looks really nice. Um, and in general, this is a very good looking watch. Um, and it offers a lot of value for, for the price of $269. So quickly, loom shot, and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you go. So you can see there's tons of loom on this, um, on the dial, on that chapter ring. So there's a sandwich dial, then you have that chapter ring that goes around the dial. The hands are very, very loomed. And then of course you have a lot of loom on that bezel. Uh, not surprised at all because Zelos do put a ton of loom on their watches. Second hand there is also loomed. Um, so very, very bright loom on this watch uh, as usual with Zelos. Again, uh, I'll be wearing it for a few weeks and then I will do a full review. Uh, for me, this is probably a keeper. I'm glad that I went with the black sand because it just, I think it's just a really good everyday watch. You can wear this anywhere, do anything with this, uh, especially with its smaller dimensions and, and thinner profile. I really like this watch a lot. Uh, first impressions are very good. I will put a link in the description to, below to Vario if you want to check out one of their straps. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, and really, if you're looking for something that goes along with this watch, that titanium strap looks absolutely amazing for 12 bucks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Please also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. Uh, also, I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you follow those links, buy anything through those links. It doesn't have to be the products that I've linked to. It goes to help support the channel. Doesn't cost you anything extra or interrupt your prime benefits. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I will catch you guys in the next video.